Hey guys, I'm Dassey from Partners in Crime GFX, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make 2D shape particles in Blender. If you don't have Blender, you can get the download for it from the link in the description. And if you'd like to purchase the end result of this tutorial, you can check out our website, and you can also help support our channel by becoming our Patreon patron, and you'll get access to exclusive templates and tutorial results for just $1 a month. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Blender. And we're going to press numpad 7 and then control alt numpad 0. And then we're going to press X on our keyboard and we're going to hit delete so that we delete our default queue. And we're just going to scroll through and change this to audio video sync. Put the resolution up to 100% and then we're going to put the frame rate at 60 frames per second. So the next thing we'll do is we'll add mesh plane. And we're going to press S to size that up. And then we're going to press SY to size that down on the Y axis. And we're just going to drag this out a bit. And we're going to give our plane a new material. And we're just going to make it green. And we're going to go into render view and see how that looks. And so now we're going to go to our lamp. And we're going to change it to sun. And then we're going to go back into solid view. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add curve, circle, and we're going to change the shape to 2D, and then we're going to press Alt-C, and we're going to turn that into E-Mesh, and we're going to go into the particle system settings, and we're going to give this a new particle system. So we're going to scroll through here, and we're just going to fast forward and see how that plays, and as you can see, we have a particle system. Now what we're going to do is we're going to edit these settings to make them move the way we want them to move. So we're going to scroll down into the field weights, and we're going to put the gravity down to zero. And we're going to scroll through to see how that looks. All right, so now we're just going to add force field, force. And we can see our particles come out in a wider area. So now we're going to select our emitter object again. If you don't want the emitter to show up when you render, you're going to uncheck emitter. And we're going to change the random of this so that we have more particles going in random areas. And we're just going to drag that up to, let's try 720 or 850, 0 0.720 or 0 0.850. And we're just going to scroll through. And we're going to change the random on the emission as well. And now we can see our particles come out more randomly. And so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to change the number of the particles. So we're going to put this up to 2000. And then this is really important for your animation. You're going to want to choose what frame it starts at by clicking that and selecting whatever frame you'd like it to start at. And then what frame you want it to end at. So we're just going to have this end at 200 frames. So we're going to leave that at 200. And what we're going to do now is we're going to make the shapes that emit. So we're going to add curve circle. And we're going to size that down by pressing S. And we're going to press Shift D. And we're just going to drag this circle over here. This is Bezier Circle 002, and this is Bezier Circle 001. So we're just going to make Bezier Circle 02, Bevel 2, Bezier Circle 001. And we're just going to drag that out, and we're going to move that up on the Z axis. And we're going to press S, Z, 0 make it a flat shape. We're just going to size that up by pressing S and we're going to give it its own material. We're going to make it a shadeless material and we're going to make it dark green. Now we're going to go into render view to see how that looks. All right, so we're going to go back into solid view and we're going to size that down a bit and we're going to add curve circle. And this time we're going to make a diamond shape. So we're going to go over into the curve settings and we're going to put the resolution down. So now we're just going to make it bevel to our same object. So we're going to scroll through and we're going to choose Bezier School 001 and we're going to press SZ0. I'm going to press enter on that and we're going to press S and size that down. Now we're going to also give this a dark green material. But what we're going to do is we're going to make this material a little bit transparent. So we are going to scroll down into these settings. I'm going to check shapeless. 
and we're going to check transparency. I'm going to put the alpha down. And we're going to go into render view and see how that looks. And now we're just going to move this up on the Z axis so we can see it a bit. And we're just going to press S and size it up a bit. So now we're going to go back into solid view and we're going to right click on our circle. And then we're going to press S and size it down so that it changes the bubble of our objects. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add curve bezier. And we're just going to drag this over here. We're going to press tab and then we're going to press V and we're going to press vector. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to right click on this. We're going to press E and we're going to extrude it. Next thing we're going to do is hold down shift and right click and we're going to press F to fill that. All right, the next thing we're going to do is select this and we're just going to drag that out until it looks like a triangle. And we're just going to press S and size that down. We're going to drag that down. We're going to press tab and we're going to right click on our triangle. And we're going to drag that up a bit. We're going to push it down just a little more and we're going to press tab to confirm that. And we're going to give it the same bevel object. Bezier circle 001. Now what we're going to do is press SZ0 and we're going to press enter and we're going to give this a new material. We're going to make this material yellow. We're going to make this shapeless as well. Now what we're going to do is hold down shift and select our other shape objects. And we're going to press control G to group these objects. And we're going to name them shape particles. Now we're just going to drag them out of view of the screen and now we're going to right click on our emitter object and we're going to scroll through and we're going to change to group and we're going to choose the duple group as shape particles and as you can see our shape particles are now emitting from the object so what we're going to do now is we're going to size them up a bit and as you can see we have shape particles now emitting from our object So now what we're going to do is we're going to select one of our shapes and we're going to press shift D and we're going to press plus on that and give it its own material and we're going to make some white shapes. Now we're going to go into material view and see how that looks. And as you can see we have our shapes emitting from the emitter object. Now you can change the sizing by right clicking on the emitter object and then change the sizing up or down and then you can also turn down the number of particles you like let's put this down to around 1500 got 1553 and as you can see all of our particles are emitting from the object so the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to save this file under a different name we're just going to save it as 2d shape particles and then you want to save it to whatever folder you'd like to save it to on your computer and then press save as blender file next thing you're going to want to do is come into the output and change the placeholder to ff impact video so that it renders out to a video and then save it to whatever folder you'd like to save it on your computer and we're just going to type 2d shape particles again and that'll save to whatever you saved it to on your computer. It'll just render out to it once you press render and then render animation. So thanks for watching another Partners in Crime GFX tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video.